नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट 2022 ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर सेकेंड लास्ट एम सी क्यू फिफ्टी नाइन्थ ऑन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट द फिगर्स इन द ऑप्शन शो द फोटो करंट जे ऑफ अ फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल वर्सेस द वेवलेंथ लैमडा ऑफ एन इंसिडेंट लाइट बीम द लाइट बीम कैन हैव थ्री डिफरेंट इंटेंसिटीज i1 i2 i3 with i1 being the greatest and i3 being the smallest which of the options is correct okay which of the options is correct now first thing is that all materials okay or any specific given photoelectric material is going to have a threshold frequency correct it is going to have a minimum threshold frequency and which is independent of intensity okay this threshold is independent of intensity we know that in fact that is uh, where the classical theory and the quantum theory of light differ okay so independent of intensity if your beam is uh, the frequency is greater than the threshold you will see the photoelectric effect instantly according to quantum theory and that is what observations tell us okay so if we have threshold frequency independent of intensity we must should also therefore have threshold wavelength okay again independent of intensity the only difference is the only difference is this lambda threshold should be the maximum because uh, lambda and nu when multiplied produce the speed of light okay independent of intensity so considering the two points okay we must say that all uh, j versus lambda curves must meet must meet at the same point must meet at the same point on lambda axis isn't it because if the wavelength crosses that frequency falls below the threshold so no photoelectric effect no photocurrent okay so which one of the options is or are giving us that uh, same point of meeting okay uh okay so definitely not first two options okay so it is either option uh, c or d if you want to call it a b c d then c or d then <coughs> what next see note that once the threshold frequency is exceeded then the photocurrent varies with intensity more the intensity more the photocurrent so here they are they are saying that i1 is the greatest so the photo current corresponding to i1 should also be the greatest okay for the least value of lambda okay so which one of them is the right one now in this case i1 seems to have the the smallest uh, photo current for the given uh, wavelength value but we know that for a given uh, frequency above threshold or for a given wavelength below the threshold the beam with the strongest intensity will produce the greatest photo current so it is not option d but it is this option okay i1 having the greatest photo current among i1 i2 and i3 because its intensity is great so answer to 59th is whatever that option is <coughs> in the next and the final video we are going to solve the last that is 60th question of as an aptitude test 2022